Hey guys, what's up? Tuesdays with Ty for January the 4th, 2011. The crap happened in 2010. Oh my god, it went by fast. A couple things to get through tonight. I hope you guys, hope you guys had a happy, uh, happy new year, Merry Christmas, uh, all that good stuff. You know, hope everybody had a good, good end of the year holiday. Uh, on to the team spots. We've got a couple things to get through tonight. Team, team additions and a little bit of information on the Revo project. We'll cut right to the chase, try to make this one short tonight. Uh, for the, What I did is I, I had two spots available, decks and trucks tuning. Uh, due to having some difficulties and what I've seen, I liked some things, I went ahead and added two more spots, which was another trucks and tuning spot and a grip, grip tape spot. So we'll get right into it. The deck spot was unanimous, unanimously taken by Mike Rapage. Uh, Schmingles is his YouTube name. Um, it was by far probably the best uh, tryout video for No Comply that, that, I, that I can recall seeing. I mean, there's a couple, you know, that, that I remember that were really good, but I mean, I, I think this one just about takes the cake. Uh, there was a lot of variety. You know, Mike's got a great style. Uh, you know, he went down down in a uh, down by the river on some railroad tracks I and mean, you put some blocks and it, it was just you know he's got a, I think he's got a cardboard a park that's like predominantly cardboard that he made that was awesome uh, you know it was just a great video great just just you know just awesome you know so Mike you know congratulations is well deserved uh, for the deck spot uh, everybody whose names are announced tonight I'll be getting with you guys probably tomorrow and get some things taken care of, get, get, you know, get with you on everything. Um, secondly, the trucks and tuning uh, spots that were available. Again, I added another one. Uh, these two are not in any, in any particular order. Um, Leland G and I, Hot Chocolate 1212 on YouTube is a YouTube ID. And, and forgive me, my friend, I know you've been in the Hub Jam a couple times and I, I can't remember your last name for nothing. I apologize. Um, but again, likewise, you know, very clean style. Um, you know, you one of the tricks that stood out for me on your on your tryout was you did a uh, I think it was a blunt slide. On, I think it might have been on like a Black River Rail kick flip out onto a little box into a uh, uh, into a manual, and the manual landed so clean. I mean. It, it, I mean, the board didn't even really drop. I mean, it was just, it was so clean, you know. I mean, and that, that's not the only thing that did it for me. It was a great, great tryout video, good variety, great style, uh, you know. So, congratulations, Leland, on that. The next trucks tuning spot that was uh, taken, uh, White Ninja Media. Uh, and again, I, I'm, uh, I believe his name is Reggie Pater. Um, and again, you know your video same thing man this it was it, the 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 videos as i watched them my style was running through my head you know and i mean it wasn't all style but you know you know with you you're you know you have great style you got good variety in the video you know you used a you know you know professional made obstacle and and and, and you know a simple simple obstacle you know a piece of wood um you know <clears throat> and you know, you had a lot of variety in there. You know, again, same thing, man. Great tryout. You know, great, you know, well-deserving of the spot. <clears throat> the, so congratulations to you on that as well. The final spot which was added uh, was for the grip team. Uh, and this one, this video wasn't necessarily the, the best, you know, in a sense as the variety of tricks. You know, but the style was really good, I thought. And I, I don't know, it was just an all around great video from the music to the, uh, you know, the, the, this guy's nollies are different in the fact that as he's riding, he'll raise his front finger and pop it down. And, you know, I don't know if people would consider that right, not right. I personally think it looks really unique. Um, and there was one point in the video where he was riding and popped it and the camera was following 
and popped a nolly flip onto like a box of poker chips. It was the music in the background. It was just like, and it was really good, really good six or seven seconds right there uh, in that video. It was I think around 27, 28 seconds long. But in, I'm sorry, not long into it. Um, but anyways, uh, Black River F FB is the YouTube account, and the kid's name is Evan Tooley. Uh, again, congratulations to you, you guys. I'll get with you uh, sometime tomorrow, uh, you know, and sell up with you guys on everything, get some information swapped out. Anybody that tried out that didn't make it, don't get discouraged. Don't think it's, you know, it, it's always nice to get a lot of tryouts, but at the same time, it's difficult because you can't choose, you know, you, you can't choose them all. You know, if I could, you know, I'd have like a team of like 300 people. This is not feasible, so you know you got to kind of make you know you know how it is. You got to you got to make decisions based on you know what you see and and you know you know things of that nature. So you, you know the guys that didn't make it don't get discouraged. Doesn't mean I didn't like the video. I didn't enjoy watching them. I mean I enjoyed watching all of them. You know so you know keep you know keep at it. You know keep progressing and uh, you know don't don't. Don't take offense to that, you know, because none is intended. Um, so, so that's got the team's parts taken care of. Congratulations again, everybody. I'm going to come and get this camera real quick and uh, show you guys. Basically, uh, pull this over here and explain to you guys a few things. Um, for me, uh, relating to the Revo project, um, I have developed a huge love for fingerboarding passion for making them being involved in it but with that has came <clears throat> you know uh, you know uh, and some 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 of that same feelings for anything that you can do with your fingers you know so that's part of where the Revo project came from uh, you know I've been working on that for a good eight nine ten months maybe uh, slowly developing it quietly um, you know and it's not completely done but some of the parts can be used by people so you know I'm gonna, I'm gonna break that down for you guys the same thing with the snowboards you know that, I, that I'm working on you know all that stuff you know any anything that you can do with your fingers and you, you know that's a sport you know is, is is intriguing to me so that's where that whole you know that whole whole idea and ideology or whatever the word is you know for what I'm talking about so basically I'm gonna scoot all this stuff over here and give you guys a quick breakdown of this as quickly as I can um, <clears throat> basically the uh, the the Revo project is basically gonna be um, f aggressive inline skates for your fingers um, but realistic um, and I've worked from the bottom up basically uh, you know I started with the frames the wheels that that part of it and I'm working my way up but if I can get some of this stuff out out here to show you guys a little bit better close-up of some of these parts but this is basically uh, <clears throat> a few of the frames There's some more over there I've got different colors but uh, the frames are essentially uh, they're basically designed to kind of replicate, not replicate, but look sort of like a ground control uh, freestyle type frames. There's no, uh, there's only two wheels with the with the V pattern, you know, for locking in on rails and curbs and you know whatever whatever you're riding on. Um, as you can see, early on uh, it was going to be a no comply brand of product, but I decided to go against that. So that's why some of these uh, have the. Uh, no comply logo on them raised as you can see um, but basically these are uh, they work with most standard bearing wheels dual bearing single bearing plus we will have a we will have a yeah we'll have uh, wheels special wheels available to non-bearing wheels we'll have a new new special type wheel designed just for these as well as the entry-level bearing wheel for them that's a little bit more cost-effective for people but basically uh, we're, we're working on we're working our way from the bottom up and the boots will actually be kind of similar to the way these little Nike shoes are um, you know they'll have really nice detail they'll they'll be available in different colors you know separated tongues strings you know realistic you know I know there's a, a brand out there that makes some right now that 
you know, look really cool, but they're not, for me, when I decided to do this, I'm like, okay, you know, I'm going realistic with it. You know, I'm not going to do it if I'm not doing it right. So, you know, similar to the way these are, if you can imagine this being like something that looks like a, you know, rims or a, you know, a Razor, Genesis, something like that, you know, or a Valo, you know, anything like that, you know, that imagine that in the style for your fingers. The plan is also to have liners that come out that uh, are thicker, thinner for like, large fingers would be a thinner you know if you got small hands small fingers you know you can you can have a thicker base liner to go in there to hold your fingers in um the frames you know of course would go on the bottom when you, and these aren't exactly scaled you know it's a totally different um boot design for that but uh you know they'll they'll be completely interchangeable and and, and i don't know if i i didn't hit on this but the wheels are all held on with uh small I don't know if you can see this or not, small Phillips heads. Uh, so you can, these are easily changeable. You just back the screws out if you want to change to a different color wheels. Uh, same thing with the sole plates. Uh, sole plates would be interchangeable and they'll be available in a, in a myriad of colors. You know, like these are some of the frames that I've got done. I've got like red, purple, gray, yellow, blues, you know, brown. I've got a, uh, you can see this here. It's like a, like an orange and white swirl. You know, like sort of like this red and white swirl is. Um, these were designed and machined out. Uh, and we got we got the masters and created molds in house for them. So we're able to you know to produce the the frames here in house. So uh, and and basically what I did to give you guys an example of what you could do with these now uh, is I had some uh, gotten a hold of some of the uh, this particular brand here that. Uh, has the 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 popsicle wood type uh, sole plate frames and the the beads for the wheels. Um, a lot of people say you don't need rolling wheels or you know nice wheels, but I'm here to tell you, you know, I, I, I rode these before I switched them, and I rode them after. And I mean, it's like like night and day difference. I mean, it's just it's so it's like going from tech deck wheels on a fingerboard to bearing wheels. It's the same thing. I mean, you, you, it feels more realistic. You know, so what I did is I basically took all the bottoms of these off, sanded them down flat, and uh, ran these kind of just little quickie uh, simulated sole plates on the bottom that are really slick. Uh, you know, again, ours, when we have them on, on the final products, you know, will be more realistic with, you know, the, the, the parts coming up on the side and, you know, they'll, they'll be able to be changed out and these will actually screw on as well. Um, but if you if you make your own like this, you know you make your own foam skates, or you have some of the you know this particular brand, you know you could take our uh, frames and do something similar to this to make them more realistic, you know for you for feeling and looks. Um, and see here, another another example here is uh, let me get these out. These are some some white ones with some uh, green green bearing wheels. These are the uh, entry level bearing wheels. They're not quite as smooth, but they are, they, you know, they do work really nice. So, um, <clears throat> so that's that. Um, you know, it's a, it's a good ways out by the time we get to the boot stage and the sole plate stage, but the theory is you get, you know, your frames, your wheels are interchangeable. The boots are interchangeable. You know, they could be available in different colorways. If you could imagine this being something like this, you know, you could have a boot that had black here and red here and white here or, you know, orange and blue or yellow and green, you know, and you could pick up orange frames, blue frames, white frames, red frames, yellow frames uh, in any various color of wheels. Uh, and everything will screw together and, uh, you know, be completely tunable and interchangeable. So um, just want to give you guys a quick breakdown of that so you know what's going on. Uh, these parts, you know, for those who may need them for their own, you know, blades that they've made or this particular brand you might want to modify, will be available on the site uh, here in about a week or so, uh, about two weeks. So uh, just keep an eye out for those. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, what can I say, man? I've got a, I've got a... Uh, you know, I love doing this kind of stuff, creating stuff. Uh, and you know, when something like this has not ever really been done, this realistic for something like this. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. So, um, finishing up, guys. Thanks again for all the support. We'll be back next week with another episode, kind of back to this normal format. Um, I think that's it. You guys take it easy. Peace.